Hey Pisces, welcome my dear seeker to your January Taroscope, January 2019, Happy New Year. Uh, this is the existential shift with Moi Morgane. Um, super happy to have you here. Welcome to all my new subscribers. Happy to have you join my tribe of seekers. And for those of you who've been around for a while, I actually haven't been mentioning it enough. I'll probably do a separate video. This is a year for the existential shift. 12 months ago, we started this journey together. So, happy birthday, I guess. Um, okay, let's just get to it. I'll, I'll make a separate video for like the New Year's to kiss you and talk about that. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Midheaven. Let's talk about January 2019. If you want to talk about your entirety, the entirety of your 2019, I made special extendeds for the entire year. Link is below in the information box. You have your extended for January there within the entire 2019 because it's, I'm dis dissecting the year by the months. So feel free to check it out. And let's focus on this general read for you guys. Okay, January for Pisces. This is the after tarot, by the way, and I love them. January. Thank you. Of course. Uh, judgment. That's how we start the month. With dun dun dun. Judgment. Awakening. Realization. Eye opening experience. This is a process. This is not like the this is not like the tower, something sudden um, that shakes the system. This is something that is an integration between inner uh, work and exterior existential collective spirit type of work um, that has been sneaking up on you for a while now. And it's like you've been doing the work, you've been doing the work, you've been doing the work, and suddenly you wake up in the morning and you're like, oh, now I'm feeling it. Now I'm feeling the work. This is it's like the, um, oh, that's what that was about. And that's why I went through that. And that's what this is me. And that's what, the, like a lot of aha moment, one after another. Um, and some of you are feeling called to do something. One second, please. I'm back. Um, this could also be a, a, a literal phone call or a judgment. So if, say you were in a court situation, then verdict is being made, or you're getting a phone call from someone from the past that you haven't heard from in a while. Let's see. Maybe it's all of the above, right? We're Pisces. We're layered. We have all kinds of stuff going on. Okay, please, let's continue with this judgment for January for Pisces. Judgment for Pisces. The world, seriously? So, short tarot lesson. Speaking of, I have tarot master class, class link to that below as well. It's online. You do it at your own pace. Great. Uh, 78 cards at the deck. In the deck. This is one before the last one. The 20th card of the Major Arcana. And this is the last one. The 21 card of the Major Arcana. This follows this, and this is the first one that you got, and this is the, the one that follows it. What does that mean? It means that some of you who are watching me have been really doing the work, you know, the, the work of the fool, the alchemist. Um, the fool in the tarot deck is the one that, watch my introducing tarot. Um, yeah, it's, I made an excerpt of it, an excerpt of it. Um, on my tarot master class you can watch that you don't have to pay for it it's just the introduction like the short a short part of the bigger part um so just to have a grasp the fool basically it's his journey through the entire uh tarot deck all the cards every card has the fool peeks behind it to to learn the lesson of that card that's the essence of the tarot i don't want to go i don't want to over go into it because i don't want to make this about an actual tarot class but just so you'll understand how big this is um, this is the last two cards in the journey of the fool in the journey of the seeker you my seeker 
are the fool. Every single one of us is, goes through the, the seeking, uh, the self-study, the, the spiritual work. We, we, we are all the fool just going through the lessons of each card. And some of you have been really going through it or you're feeling like you have. And this is in January for you begins at a certain like major completion of something. Um, very, very high frequency kind of stuff. Um, the eclipses are, are a big part of it. I feel like they, uh, um, the culmination of it would be on the 20 and the 21st of the month, aka another eclipse, a lunar eclipse, and you'll, you'll be feeling it. This is not a bad thing. This is actually very exciting. This is very like um, uh, chest expanding, uh, like... Let's just say if you were feeling like your environment was too small for your uh, newfound essence, then now the environment is like the boundaries are being stretched. You have more space, you have more room, you have more, um, you just have, you just have the ability to express yourself as, as you should. Because you've really, really grown. And evolved and I feel like it will have like your reality will start matching that newfound inner frequency um, like with actual mundane more suitable reality for you okay so if you have grown your shoes now you're getting new shoes that are your size things like that uh, okay that was a silly example, but you know what I mean. Okay, it's like a company that is doing really, really, really well. It started with like with one small office and maybe uh, two partners with a dream, and they did something, and it it, it grew it grew way beyond their uh, what they imagined in, in much shorter time. And now they need to really follow up with the demand. They have much less supply than they do demand then they have demand, so they have to like figure out, okay, we need a bigger office, we need more workers, we need more um, uh, appliances or whatever to, 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 you know, to be able to keep up with the growth. So you move into a bigger office or you buy a factory or you hire new employees, it, it, you know, take it to your situation or you, you're self-employed and you started a new business, now you're you've grown so much you can't keep up with the client so you you know uh so you hire an assistant things like that you're you, you have a new baby in the family you can no longer stay in this one bedroom you have to move into a bigger place so this is awesome <laughs> this is fantastic judgment and the world pisces i love you guys so much i love your readings okay so, not exactly. Let's keep going for Pisces. Let's see what this is about for January. January 2019. Happy New Year. Have I said that? Ching, ching. Pisces, January 2019. Something, you're, something is cooking. Something is cooking in your oven. You're like working on something big and maybe you're considering when to announce or when to, maybe you're pregnant and you're, you want to wait a little bit before you tell your family and friends. You want to make sure everything's okay first. Uh, maybe you've got a great job offer, but you haven't signed the details and the lease and you, or the contract or and so you're waiting until you show it to the world. And I see you doing it around the last third of January. A lot of things are happening towards the last third of January from the 20th and on. And in the first three weeks, it's it's kind of a process for us that we need to finalize the, the final details. Ah, it's exciting. <laughs> Thank you for this lovely energy, Pisces. I really needed this because I always tap into the energy of the readings and sometimes it's very heavy and sometimes it's very light. And so this is great. I don't know where this is leading to, but it's a great start. Sorry, okay. Pisces, January. Well, you, you can tell me. Eight of Pentacles, did I not say you're working on something? You're putting, it's like, 
it's like you guys are with your head in your notes or in your work or in your craft or in your painting or in your uh, drawing board uh, or with your camera. I don't know what it is that you're doing or with your writing and you're literally just lifting your head up just for me for this ring to be like, well, can we get back to work already? Well, guys, I'm doing this for you. Do you want to listen to this or not? You're like really putting your time and focus and energy on something that is really important to you, um, that is very yours. Guys, if you don't resonate with this, it's okay. General readings. Also, that's why you watch your other placements. Watch your rising. Watch your moon. Watch your Venus. I resonate a lot with my Mars. Like, alarmingly a lot with my Mars. Maybe it's because I'm a little <laughs> But, uh... Yeah. Okay. So eight of pentacles, you're working on something that you know will bear fruit and you're patient. You see the vision. You feel like it's a calling. Um, I see artists and painters and poets and writers. Well, of course you're Pisces, but those of you who are watching me right now are those with a really artistic kind of flair to you guys. I, I refer to Pisces as the artistic warrior. If your sun and rising are not in Pisces, check maybe your midheaven is in Pisces, because I can tell you I resonate with that a lot, and my midheaven is in Pisces. Like, there's something about you that is so powerful, but in such a, a mythical, a magical way. So it's always like spiritual warrior, artist kind of warrior thing, but not like in a in a eat from an ego place, but for a vision, for a cause, right? Right or something for something that is bigger than you are. There's a reason why the hangman is Pisces. Like, ah, I love this energy that I'm tapping into. So happy to have you guys here. Um, I'm really curious what you think, what you'll think about the uh, extended for 2019. So check it out and comment. Let me know how you liked it. Okay. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Pisces, January. Show me more. It's like the energy is so accurate. You really care about the small details. You want to be very precise to make sure that what you're doing, you're doing just right. And you're patient and you're willing to put look, look how look how I'm shuffling the cards. They're like they're like systematic and cool and poised and calm and patient. They're like, we're not showing it until it's ready. The cards are like, we're gonna show the the most accurate card. We're not going to just drop it all on the table. Okay, let's wait. What can I say in the meantime? Uh, you can book a private reading with me. Link to that below. Super easy to schedule now. Um, you have two options, half an, uh, 25 minutes or 55 minutes, like half an hour or an hour. Um, and Tarot Masterclass online at your own pace. You choose the cards that you want to know about. Um, Instagram, follow me, The Existential Shift. I don't know, I'm just trying to fill up the void. I'm waiting for the cards. Thank you! I guess that's what I needed to say. Queen of Pentacles. Well, Pisces, I've never sensed such grounded, focused energy from you guys. Very, very particular, very strong, very um, self sustained and responsible and mature you know what you care about you're willing to work for it you're putting in the effort you're being accurate you're being artistic you're being beautiful people should want to be a pisces or, or they should learn from you at least this month of january queen of pentacles facing uh, the eight of pentacles I love how they these two vibe on a similar level, like two very major arcanas, very high, uh, like this is an angel from above, this is the Gabriel, this, here she's like up and above in the universe, balancing all the elements of life, and they're like facing each other, and here it's very earthly energy, it's like the opposite, this is the sky, this is the earth, the pentacles, and she's the queen of pentacles, she's, she's the master of the element of pentacles, and he's working on mastering it. He's, he's, he's working on the craft of, like, I, I see, like, this could also be um, a commissioned work. 
like I see like someone who is commissioning an artist, like paying them to create something special for them. I mean, look at this. God, I hate it when people do that. It's so rude. Someone is ringing the bell and I'm not expecting anybody. It's just someone that tries to enter the building. It's just incredibly rude. Uh, sorry. Um, back to the reading. I get um, sidetracked so easy when my energy is like in a reading and then the littlest thing makes me like so annoying. Um, okay. Be done with that. Be done with that. Yeah, so if you're an artist and you're looking for um, a potential investor, for example, someone who will believe in you, invest in you, uh, represent you, this is a good time to apply for things, like send your resume, send your headshots, send your, um, your work for agencies, for managers, for galleries, whatever it is that you do. Um, If you're a musician, I see music here as well. Go to music venues and give them your CD. You know, like and that's it's a little bit of you know dated. I know today everything works in emails, and you need to know specifically who to talk with um, and the place. So, 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 so learn the industry, the behind the scenes, who it is that you're supposed to talk to. Ask around, you know. Um, but I see you being very, very, very very on top of things. I don't even know if you need me to tell you this. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Death and Nine of Wands. Okay. So whatever all this is that I'm describing here, um, you are required uh, to expand now. Like expansion is needed and it requires of you to make some changes some sacrifices um, to handle a lot of mundane technical things in order for you to be able to do that um, and you just have to push through it Pisces I know you hate it I, don't, I know you just want to work focus on your craft or on your vision but you are asked to be bigger than yourself right now and do, and this is a message that is being repeating itself across the board. Do the work, not the work that necessarily inspires you that too, but also the work that is just the technical an annoyances, you know, just the running errands, the um, negotiating contracts, the sending emails, um, Paying, you know, filling, filing taxes, just, you know, grind. Like, get your hands dirty in the mud. I think you're willing to do that, and you're just, you understand the process, and you're just kind of holding on through it, being like, hey, it's just what I have to do, it's just what I got to do. Um... Some of you are resisting change. You're like, oh, but I want to have both. I want to do all that and expand all that, but I want to take my past with me or keep everything from there with me. You can't. You're just postponing the inevitable or with the judgment and the death card. It's like nothing you can do. It's bigger than you are. Your soul is like, no. Page of Wands and the Moon. Some of you, it's just... Um, Things might be starting at one point to move really fast and it will be a little bit overwhelming and a lot to process and a lot to take and you're really trying to kind of breathe through it and it could be a little bit concerning. Um, some of you might will suffer from an anxiety attack, you know, like fear of success kind of thing. Things are happening big and fast and you don't know if you can handle it, you don't know if you can do things right, what if you'll mess it up, what if this, what if that. One step at a time, okay? Just just, just look at one step at a time. It'll be like that. This is your vision. Okay, now I need to sort this out. Done. Done. 
done and so on and so on don't let yourself uh, be get sidetracked some of you will be tempted to um, to go back to old habits and kind of out of fear and anxiety you'll be tempted to uh, uh, you know when you're scared that something will fail so you fail it you're scared that someone really really great will break up with you so you just ruin it and break up with them and then you're like okay now I'm relieved they won't break up with me <laughs> oh this is too perfect of a job for me I, I, I can't handle it They're, they'll fire me they'll see that I'm a yeah, you know, not the real thing, and you quit. Someone commissions your artwork, and it's amazing, and it's a great opportunity, and then you just escape. And instead of working on it, you go out with your friends drinking, or you spend all the money on something else, thinking that it's okay. You're gonna have money coming from a project next week, so you can. It's okay. No, it's not okay. Be accurate. Be responsible. Don't escape. Some of you really, really want to do some escaping. It started out really great. Really great. Some of you are getting really big opportunities. Make it work. And some of it is just something that happens um, in the back scenes. Like, okay, there's all this that I just described. But then maybe something in your personal life or your relationship is confusing you and uh, causing drama and takes away from your attention. Discern, discern, discern. Block, 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 block. Bye. I'm in my cave. I'm working on a masterpiece. I'm going to call this masterpiece. Uh, you feel like a lot of things are happening at once and you don't know what to do first. One thing at a time, guys. Uh, I feel like I'm tapping into another group now. A lot of people are grieving recently. A lot of people have moved on, passed on. Um, those of you who are grieving and you're forcing yourself to do the actions, you know, to do the work. All I can do is applaud you. It's not easy. But keep going. Same for you. One step at a time. Um, mm. What else can we see for Pisces for January, please? Pisces for January. Two of Swords, Five of Wands, yeah. Some of you I, I see going through a regression. Just going back to really hold that habits, like kind of you know, like someone who managed to quit drinking and then the smallest thing happens and they're on, like, on, um, they're, they're climbing up and then something small happens and they drop. Don't see this as a premonition. See this as a warning. If this is your situation. There's a reason why you're here. If you'll be tempted, don't. Whatever this is, it doesn't have to be drinking. This could be just old habits, going out, partying too much, getting drunk, and then not not standing your um, your deadline. Um, a lot of you are going through some battles inside your head, like just 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 arguing arguing with yourself inside your head, arguing with other people inside your head. You know, like when we imagine a conversation with someone. Um, then you're imagining an argument. Um, either say it to the person, collect it and calm, or breathe it, or, or let go of it. Like, but don't over obsessed with things. Um, I do sense someone trying to 
hide from something that makes them feel threatened in a way. Clarify that if that's the case. What is the advice? Three of Pentacles. Keep doing the work. Keep doing the work. Keep doing great. Um, don't fall to your fears. Don't let anyone scare you, threaten you, upset you, um, sidetrack you, make you feel um, like you're not worthy of all this. This could be jealousy. This could be spitefulness. Like you're on a roll. You're starting to succeed. You're starting to do great. And then someone has to ruin it for you. They just can't take it. Uh, that either you're moving on without them or whatever. Some people are really crappy and weak like that. Like it's disgusting. Sorry. Like they 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 can't um, move on themselves. They can't succeed for themselves. So they're trying to ruin it for others. This is like a very spiteful, uh, negative ex-boyfriend that still is very much in love with you and does every single manipulation to continue talking to you under every sort of excuse. Very co coercive, manipulative, um, passive-aggressive, constantly uh, tries to remind you that of his existence, like psychic attacks or just like non-stop contacting you for those of you who know what stalkers and obsessive compulsive people are i hope you'll never know um it's just really really low vibration low frequency type of behavior like seriously man just get a life get over it move on like you know people make excuses to talk to you over anything it's like just because they just can't figure out their own life so they just drown in their issues and then try to puke it on you and <laughs> puke a net at you to just ugh. completely completely ignore 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 it's the only way don't convey don't cooperate uh don't be pulled into their drama their drama is theirs it's not yours i need you to not make anyone else's drama yours don't let anyone pull you in there uh, to their bubble of rot Some people are just drowning in a bubble of rot and they they want to see other people suffer with them and they tell themselves stories because they're extremely unaware and Not very conscious conscientious 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 yeah, and not, they're not very conscientious <laughs> uh. And they tell themselves stories of why it is that they need to tell you stories. And it's just really, really lame. Sorry. I, I, just, I feel like I might be touching someone's uh, strings right now. Maybe it will help someone uh, by me saying it to either let go or let go of someone who won't let go of you. Ugh. Scorpio had a similar energy of like a bug nagging them. So the, the advice is to keep your work, keep your focus, do your thing, discern, only allow accurate energy. Because you're building something great, Pisces. You'll be tempted to forget about it a little bit. The eclipses will get to you. You'll become emotional. Um, and all the fear and the paranoia and the anxiety will come up. Keep doing the work allow yourself to be fearful it's okay you're human as long as it doesn't affect your actions okay that's the best advice i can give you and one last card please okay <laughs> wow three of pentacles leading to four of pentacles mm. okay this is the annoyance that won't let go of you. Say someone who's just refusing to accept change. This is a symbolism of death, of change. Keeps holding on to what they think they have. when Maybe it's not even theirs. And maybe... Because I do have the Death card and the Three of Pentacles here. And the Four of Pentacles is kind of a combination of them both, just not in a positive way more like in um okay i did something i worked for something now i refuse to let go of it just because i worked for it 
when we go when we move on to the next step we're, we're leaving behind the step that we just climbed okay so yeah we worked hard to climb that step we used our leg and we pull it up and we use it to pick up the rest of the body and then we are on that step great except that now you need to do the next step imagine if you're climbing another step and you're like no but i want this 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 step with me <laughs> that's the four of pentacles you did something time to do the next and evolve and grow and move forward um accept the change Hmm. And I also see someone who um, has worked on something tangible for a really, really long time. And it's something that is very much connected to their old self, to their old mechanism, to their, to their old life. And there's nothing bad about it. It's just not them anymore, but they don't want to let it go. They might be, they might understand that they have evolved uh, spiritually and emotionally, but they don't want to let go of the physical aspect of what it is that they have moved on from. Um, imagine an artist that creates a lot of things, but then they don't want to, they refuse to let go of them. Like someone, people want, want to buy it from them, right? So they can earn money from it and someone else will enjoy the art but they're like they're, they're so um connected to the art that they they're not willing to even sell it so like you can't really and then their house is just gets piled and piled with their artwork but they're not but then they also have to have a nine to five job because they refuse to sell their art it's something like this it's like holding on to something that is supposed to be in a natural flow of movement created now out Made it, now out. Um, if you're only writing into your drawer and leave it in your drawer, you know, um, share your writing. You don't need anyone to publish you today. Post about it on Facebook. Take, snap, take pictures of it and post it on Instagram. Like, there are so many ways today to express ourselves. We're not really dependent on the old mechanism. Um, Today, artists don't really need galleries anymore. They they create a, an amazing platform for themselves on Instagram or on different um, web platforms like you know like uh, online stores, online galleries, and then they make most of the earnings instead of paying like fifty five percent commission to the gallery owner owner. Because you today you don't need walls to present yourself. You have a camera. Um, and it's fantastic. It's it's great opportunities for all kinds of art artistry. So, artistry. Yeah. So, if you're looking to grow and expand, don't think from the old mechanism of how things used to be in whatever field you're operating on, you're working on. Like, try to open your mind to new ways of expansion. Because you're you're very very talented, and you should be seen. Hmm bottom of the deck, Ten of Pentacles. Ooh. That's lovely. Okay, um, so now I'm going to do what I normally do for the regular monthly extended. I'm going to give you a taste of it because normally it's on Vimeo. I take the numeric aspect of the cards. I rearrange the cards on the table to give new and or added interpretations. Um, so right now I don't have any number repeating itself, which is amazing. Like there's no like two threes or and so on. I actually do have, oh, this is what I have. Okay, great. And I also keep the major arcanas. Oh, interesting. I do have synchronicity here. A lot of it actually. Mm. all right good so 
Um, and in the regular extended, which I will resume for February, I do this, what I'm about to do now, but then I also move on to do a Celtic cross, which is a brand new shuffle, brand new reading with 10 cards. I finish up with messages from the runes. Uh, we'll, we'll see what I'll do after this, either a message from the oracle or from the runes. We'll see what the mood strikes. But to our affair, okay. Judgment is 20. I have two of swords, two and two. The world is 21. That's three, three and three of pentacles. The death is 13, which is four, four of pentacles, and then five. Now the moon is 18, and here I have nine of wands, and 18 is nine and nine. So this is the new arrangement. I just rearranged in accord to the numerical values. Now look at something very nice and interesting. We'll figure it out. Remember what I told you that the death card and the three of pentacles is like four of pentacles in this in this tarot deck anyway combination like change is coming but someone won't let go so what I have here is and this could be a different narrative or an added for you I have here someone who was for a long time psychologically stuck stuck in a mechanism stuck in a past stuck in a behavior pattern um, and now there's like an awakening or at least a calling, like something is trying to uh, push this person for awareness. Now this doesn't have to be positive. This could be someone who needs to acknowledge their own bullshit that kept telling themselves stories and excuses and why this, and like, you know, blamed other people of everything that is wrong in their life. And now spirit is trying to kind of be like, hey, so you remember this? From back then actually if you try to look at it from this point of view maybe you weren't right and all that um either way whether it's fun awakening or not so fun awakening for the ego there's an awakening you are called to wake up and i have here two narratives probably for different viewers or maybe a choice that is presented in front of you some of you will take this awakening and make magic out of it like will really take a leap in your frequency, really build a new structure, uh, uh, succeed, create for yourself, grow, expand the world with the Three of Pentacles, really building something even international, like on a national, like an international scale. Um, and we're going to talk about that in a sec. I want to talk for a second about the individual that will not accept the truth that is knocking on their door, that will remain in denial, that will refuse to let go of their mechanism, swirl into a lot of inner battles with their subconscious and in their fear, and will just be very um, paranoid and, re and, and guarded and unwilling to open up and unwilling to fight the good battle which is fighting the, their own mechanism basically spiritual warriors it's all you know allegories and analogies to how we fight our own demons and expand beyond beyond the self that we knew like reincarnate in the same lifetime kind of thing and some of you who are watching are going to grab this opportunity by the hand and it's just gonna fly and some of you are going to get so scared and timid that I'm worried that you'll miss out on it, like pick up fights with people who are trying to help you or be suspicious of really good offers or maybe they just mean that or maybe it's fraud. I don't know. Of course, be discerning and check and be accurate, but evolve. Don't devolve. Okay? Okay. Um... Yeah, that's a very strong message there. That's what I have to say. Those of you who will do this, twenty-two, thirty-three, forty-four. Um, it's new heights, ninety-nine, complete new heights of like a. a different way of living like something beyond. some of you are considering literally moving to a different part of the world or you are expanding in like 
your work is being presented in a very vast way. This could be the beginning of it, right? This could be an opportunity that is offered where you can work on something that later on will lead to it. Like the Three of Pentacles is building something very real and tangible, but it's it's still part of the journey. There's a lot to go. The Ten of Pentacles were at the bottom of the deck, so we know that's where it's leading to. So it doesn't necessarily have to all happen in January. I don't think so. But I think January is a very important month for you where you make it or break it. Make it or break it. Take it. Take the opportunity grab the opportunity and, and go with it or keep holding on to whatever it is that you used to work on that was great then but just is no longer serving you and kind of stay stuck and i feel like um you might need to make that decision this month somewhere around the moon cycle either the new moon or the or the full moon I get the sense more towards the full moon, somewhere between the 13th and the 21st, that you'll have to really make a decision. I don't know. It's probably not for all of you. Okay. All right. Let's finish up. Yeah, so that's what I always do in my normal extended reads, um, but then I, it's just like the first part of it. I just thought it would be nice to get a taste of it. Um, Runes. Message for my Pisces seeker for January 2019. I feel excitement. Something exciting is about to happen. Okay. To assess in the reverse. This is for those of you who will show objection. But it's in the challenge and in the past, so we're still optimistic. Next for Pisces for January. It was in reverse, okay, the journey in reverse. Maybe it's another message, something different. And finally for Pisces for January. Bilk, okay, all right, I got this. So, if you are to face power struggles, ego, the annoyance that I described early on that won't let you let go of you and be really, really harassing and just stupid. Um, it will really might, I hope it won't sidetrack you. Like, I really want you to be Bilk. Bilk is like Demeter, it's like the Empress, it's like um, Mother Nature, Gaia. She's a very powerful, it's a very powerful um, life force that just does good, does what they need to do, and the rest just slides away. Um, just maintain a positive attitude throughout whatever this is, and it will kind of sort itself out in a way. Like, I, you're definitely, because the last final one is built and it's upright, you definitely got this. Whatever this is, it's so small in comparison to this energy to you that it's just gonna shoot it's like if this if this is the annoying thing that i saw there it's someone that will constantly shoot themselves in the foot like the more they will try the more they will uh entangle themselves <laughs> and then just fall all you have to do is just just don't do anything um because the more they'll try to hurt you or upset you or nag you, the more they will, um, A, uh, accumulate really negative karma. So they will really entangle themselves in their own negativity. <laughs> and then it will just be like, they'll, they'll drop it because they'll have worse things to handle. But the funny thing is, the ironic thing is that these worst things that they'll have to drop the issue they have with you to handle is their self-made energetically because they try to hurt you they're gonna really really hurt themselves it, it's something will bounce back at them like so so hard that I feel like you really have the power to crush them like a bug but you're not doing that because you're merciful so if they'll do one wrong move you will, and then they're like, 
And then they'll might blame you for it. They'll ignore the fact that they are the one who initiated all this drama. But still, they'll end up being the ones suffering more from their own doings. It's like um, there's a martial art in, um, from the Tao. The uh, Tai Chi is born from the Tao. State of mind, I mean. Where you don't really bother with your opponent. You let them hurt themselves. Where you just kind of... If they send something negative at you, just kind of like, just you just you just let it go back to them. You let it go around you like a boomerang and just snap back at them. Just be zen. Just be calm. Work on your craft. Work on your work. Focus. Don't let don't let anything sidetrack you. Don't 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 feed into it. Okay. Uh, let them feed their own negativity. I don't know what it is that I'm tapping into here, but yeah, you, you'll end up pretty fine. <laughs> I see. You'll end up pretty fine. Oh, sorry, what was that? Ooh, Torisas fell down. Only now it's upright. It's confirmation. Oh, yeah, like whoever tries to oppose you in January will really, really, really end up regretting it. So this is great. Um, I'll see you in a second and you're ex yearly extended for 2019. If you book a private reading, I'll get, I'll get to know you, then yay. Um, Tarot Masterclass, yay. And follow me on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Happy New Year. I'll see you in February. <laughs>